One of the myths I'd like to bust is that some people are math people and some people are not math people, like as if it's somehow encoded in our DNA or something because we all are math, math people doing math every moment of our lives. It's just ridiculous to think that some people are math people and some people are not. I feel like a lot of people don't have exposure to any math that would be engaging or fulfilling because they're just doing um, worksheets of 100 computational problems. I've also experienced the joy and beauty of math. I've been able to thrive as a human being using the logic of a mathematician. Um, so I feel like there's so much math to love and enjoy. It all starts with like norms, right? Classroom norms, and they need to be co-constructed, absolutely. Like what makes you feel a sense of belonging and safe? It's a safe space to make mistakes. Uh, the acronym MATH, mistakes allow thinking to happen. It's, it's a normal part of math is making mistakes. You're not gonna get the right answer the first time and no one's perfect. I like the problem solving aspect of it. So, and I like how math allows for mistakes. And so, and that's another part of being a lifelong learner. Like you have to learn to live with your mistakes and overcome them and I will make mistakes and that's okay. Life is a journey and not a destination. It's, it's a journey and we're always learning, lifelong learning, um, and you're gonna have twists and turns and you can only plan so much. To be a lifelong learner is to just continue learning and to always want to learn. So always want to be better, always strive for more, strive for what's best and strive for what's best for your students. You may have this problem or situation that you're trying to solve and you have one set way that you would solve it, but they may come with some, something completely different, and you need to be open and accepting of different things that may not be exactly what you would do.